morning friends welcome back to another video if you're brand new here glad you're here so I'm kicking it off from home right now I'm about to leave for work but I think I'm gonna go test the pool water <sighs> let me back up for a sec okay we're having some homeowner struggles right now and it's not even like anything that we did specifically but it when it rains it pours so speaking of the pool like we had it all cleared up and if you own a pool that you know like every year you have to like get it going so like start shocking it add whatever to balance the ph blah 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 and it can be like really tricky and literally we do not know what's wrong because every water test that we do for alkalinity ph whatever it's all good so we don't know why the color is so off like it was just not coming back from green like we got it good and then we had heavy rain and then we were like busy for a few days and then it just like went to green and we have not been able to get it back and we don't know what's wrong so that's one thing i'm gonna go test the pool water again because now it's murky and we had put algicide in it like two days ago hoping that that was the answer and it clearly isn't yet so i don't know anyway gonna go test the pool water but fun story time last night got home and i was like kind of in a rush i was like i'm gonna go to the gym i have some time and I go to put something in the freezer and the freezer is completely defrosted. So then I quickly realized that the fridge is also not working. So it's pulled out from the wall right now because mechanic Eric was of course assessing the whole motherboard. <laughs> no idea. Um, you guys like I, there are certain mechanical things that I understand, but that's just not really the way my brain works. Um, anyway, he was looking at it it seems like it seems like there's one thing that he might be able to test and if so if that's the problem it would only be like 40 bucks so he wants to try that first um i have a hard time having confidence in a fridge that has w stopped working one time because i'm just going to be worried that it happens again even if we fix something so anyway luckily like we were like, okay, what do we do? So we tried to game plan. We were like, do we go look for a new fridge? Eventually we want to redo the kitchen. So we were like not ready to shop for appliances because we don't know what we want yet. We wanted to go with the new kitchen, but that's like a couple years away. We were like, do we go buy a mini fridge to get by? And I'm like, well, how long are we going to be getting by with a mini fridge? So anyway, didn't want to do this, but we ended up unboxing the fridge that we have in the garage that is for the a-frame like i mean by chance we have a fridge in the garage so i, I didn't want to unbox it till i got it moved again but we didn't really have any other options so i moved all our stuff out to the garage where the a-frame fridge is and it's getting us by for the next couple days while we diagnose this other fridge so anyway the fridge the ac has started making weird noises when it's not on so now we're worried to like leave it plugged in because it needs like to not use that much electricity all day and the freaking pool and I don't even know <laughs> it's just like a lot of things lately so anyway I'm on my way to work I just I'm uploading a YouTube video right now and I want to make sure that it's good to go so that I can get up for you guys today so look forward to that you're probably like already seen it if you're seeing this video but um if you haven't <laughs> it's farm girl summer part two and uh yeah I'm working on like swapping out plates because I have like all new 12 set of plates from the shower blah 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 but anyway i just want to say good morning i'm gonna go test the pool and we'll head to work it's going to be a long hot sunny week and i'm so happy about it if you guys have been here you know how much i love nice weather so it's gonna be a hay week for sure sam was mowing yesterday he's mowing more today he was mowing a little for round bales yesterday but then finished the day with fields for square bales so i know for a fact he's got some big fields today that he's mowing for square bales so guaranteed tomorrow we'll be moving some bales around, but obviously I'll keep you guys updated. I'm just pumped for it because it's like blue skies right now, high of 80. Let's do it. In case anyone was wondering, the pigeon is now venturing around the building, but still here. <laughs> is this your new home? The basil has doubled in size, so that's promising. Plus I even picked some last night, but I know I need to weed. Maybe I will get to that <laughs> today. What up, oinkers? Oh my goodness, you guys. Why you guys gotta be in the way? 
it is actually the most gorgeous day. So shout out to my sister, Rachel, sister-in-law, but sister, um, because she made me this bracelet. This is turn off the water. <laughs> Cause if you guys have been here for like a while, like multiple summers, you would know that when we turn the cow water on, we have a serious issue <laughs> with forgetting to turn it back off. And then the cow water overflows and our water pump is like, turn the cow water off. <laughs> so anyway, she made me this bracelet and I leave it where I turn the water on and I always remember to turn it back off and it literally works. Like I've been using it for, I don't know, a couple weeks now and it's like, I'm like, oh, gotta turn the water off. Like it really works. So anyway, sometimes the littlest gifts are the most thoughtful, you know? Surprise, surprise, we're back picking lettuce again. <laughs> I, we were just talking about how my mom is gonna be making the green salad for our wedding. So we wanna make sure that we have like a really good succession that will be flourishing at the time of the wedding. So we're gonna need to rip out a row soon and reseed, which I just can't believe that's already happening, but it's just, it's just been good growing weather. I can't complain, but we've just had so much lettuce. We've been pushing it like crazy in the shop. I don't remember what this lettuce is called, but it's so nice. Like the texture is just like so crispy, but like dense. <laughs> so Sam is um, raking right now, I think, but, or round bailing, I'm not positive, but uh, an update on his wagon project. He's obviously not stopping at all new cross members because he's got a lot more lumber now. <laughs> he just dropped this off, so. Anyway, I guess he's rebuilding this wagon pretty much from the ground up, which is cool. It needed it, obviously. Anyway, the sun is pretty hot. I'm actually gonna go put one of my halter tops on because I can just like feel the tan lines happening. And um, my mom just headed off, but I'm gonna go meet her. We're going to Joe's, which is where my bridal shower was. And it's also where we were just picking raspberries. And that's why we're going back. We're gonna go pick more raspberries because she just has like more than she can even deal with. She freezes enough and then makes jam and she's just like, I still have tons. So we're gonna go pick raspberries there. That's another reason that we're like, okay with not totally maintaining ours this year. Cause Joe is just like abundant in them. So um, I'm gonna go change my shirt and make sure the lettuce is like good to soak for a bit and head over to Joe's for a little. Mom decided to let the cats out for some freedom today. These sinks are full of lettuce, but they should be good to soak for a little bit. So I'll be back shortly, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, 30 minutes probably, to spin it once I'll, I like to let it sit anyway because I want the dirt to settle at the bottom of the sink. So I'm gonna let this sit, let the dirt settle, and I will spin it when I get back from Joe's. Speaking of raspberries and jam, I wish you guys could smell how good it smells in here because Remember how I said like when we make jam, we make like batches and batches. It's like, it ain't no thing. <laughs> Mom was making jam this morning. Just like a quick casual couple batches of jam. Anyway, the berry smell in here is like sweet sugar berries. Like it smells so good. <laughs> Strawberry. It's still hot, so it's not gelled yet. Raspberry. Blueberry. A quick peek at Sam, he's round bailing. I mean, do we not live in like the prettiest place? Are you kidding? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I feel like that came out of nowhere. <laughs> yes, just like the raspberries. <laughs> wow, they look so good, Joe. Okay, Joe's blueberries are ready. If you wow, all raspberry. If you haven't met Joe's scarecrow, does the scarecrow have a name? Matilda. Oh, Matilda. 
It's literally a perfect day. Matilda Louise, how about that? Sure. <laughs> I know. You guys, look at all these raspberries. Yes. Absolutely. But Joe, we can't take all these berries. Okay. Yeah. Smell. You should smell these. Yeah, I actually I didn't do that yet. Oh my gosh, because of the hun, hun, because of the sun. Oh my god. Right? Mom, smell them like really close. Mm. Oh, yummy. <laughs> I hear Sam. He must be done round bailing over there. Yep, there he goes. deep in washing lettuce so I usually spin it dump it out let it air dry for a sec I've already got all these bags bagged this to package this to spin it's a crazy amount of lettuce you guys but tuna on sourdough English muffin and these are actually so when I said that we were gonna make pickled um, or bread and butter pickles we have to slice them up and salt them with onions and then we cover them in the pickling juice of like maple and vinegar. So this is like before they're canned. This is just like salted cucumbers that I'm having for lunch. Okay, not the super fun stuff when it's nice out, but I guess everybody was just waiting for 4th of July week to come to place their orders, but <laughs> we've gotten a ton of wholesale orders this week. So we're kind of like getting all the products together. We wanna to make sure our shelves are stocked as well. So. Um, we're kind of double teaming mail order and wholesale orders. Some of them are shipped, some of them are delivery. So anyway, we're trying to get through that for the afternoon. I have granola that is cooling, so I'll probably pack that after this. And the cucumbers that I was eating, mom's gonna make pickles this afternoon, I think. So she'll probably like put the vinegar on and we'll end up canning those together. And yeah, that's really the plan for the rest of the day. I just wanted to show you guys that we're working on packing stuff up and I'm UPSing. Good morning, friends. It's the next day. Mom got here very early this morning to start her popcorn day so that she wasn't really doing it in the mid heat of the day. Um, I'm gonna actually start with thank you notes. I just did the chores, so I'm gonna sit down and do my thank you notes for the bridal shower because I really don't wanna let another day go by without doing them. But a lot of the wholesale orders that we were showing you yesterday, we needed popcorn and for the shelf because it's a holiday week. So mom's getting popcorn out of the way. When I'm done with thank you notes, I have to make trail mix and pack peanuts. So I have some of that stuff here and finish up those orders because this afternoon slash evening maybe i'll be able to make deliveries i'm not sure because it's also definitely going to be a heyday so brought long pants with me don't know what time that's going to be but sam's out there with the tractor so he didn't really give us an update i'm sure he'll let us know when he needs us so anyway lots of different stuff in the shop today and i don't know what else but i'll keep you updated i'm going to sit down and do some thank you notes Do I say dear? Do I say dear? Um, here's Writing thank yous is hard. <laughs> you. So while I've been writing cards, mom has been canning um, mustard honey and now I'm gonna help her with pickles we're just doing a small batch because we don't quite have like a ton of pickles locally yet like we know that we're gonna be able to get bushels soon one from our garden and two from like the local farm stands that we like to go to so she just has one pot that we're gonna can up right now and they smell good though Bacon and eggs. The eggs are real. 
really good, just scrambled with Harper's Field jalapeno cheese in them. I just got back from making deliveries. Hopefully my camera is not too shaky right now. I do need to look into getting something like one of the tripods that kind of like moves with you because yes, I am a bumpy walker. <laughs> anyway, Sam should be back within, I don't know, half an hour, I think with the first of four or five loads of hay. So Whenever I hear him coming, I'm gonna run in and put jeans on, but as of right now, I'm in shorts because it's very hot. But I'm just gonna take a second and weed the herb garden because I know I was like saying that I kind of wanted to do that and it's just really nice out. So I'm just gonna take a second and do that and try to like find the energy for the hay. <laughs> I like had so much energy this morning and I was like so excited, but I'm kind of dragging a little. I don't know if it's just like not a good night's sleep or what but i gotta get amped got myself a gatorade i'm sure i'll get into it. i'll put some music on in my pocket and yeah i'm just like i don't know if i'm good at it but i'm always in the mouth and i'm always the stacker like for once i just want to unload the wagon like i want to be out in the sun and just like throw bales down instead of push them <laughs> but anyway doing hay is doing hay so that'll be next all right, it's better than it was. Not my pride and joy this summer, but it's okay. It's just one of those things that herbs are not like my top priority with all the things going on this summer, but I still get to at least pick some really good fresh ones for like salads and stuff, so yeah. empty wagon which I'm guessing means he got it all bailed. Sometimes he drops a wagon and then goes and bails more but Mom was sweeping all the chaff out of here. Cause I was like slipping and falling all over the place. She's bringing it to the chickens.
Next wagon. <laughs> really good for getting the wagon clean which I'm sure he's gonna be super anal about for the first time now that he's like fixing up the wagons because mostly want to get all the hay off the wagon just because when it gets wet like it will rot your wagon a lot faster <laughs> anyway we're finished up for tonight um the cows are here because they love anything having to do with hay and they get a little snacky snack from broken bales I think I'm gonna end this video off here and call it a night. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> like I definitely found the energy while we were doing it and thank goodness our neighbor came and helped because I was walking the hay to the whole other side of the barn, which I know somebody commented about this. I wasn't walking that far the first time that we were putting hay up in this loft, but this time I was walking quite far. And every time I carry two bales, cause like I can carry two bales, but my hands aren't wide enough. I end up like, effing up one of the bales just because of the sh like where I hold the string so even though I can it's just like doesn't work out that well so I just end up carrying one and trying to walk really fast but anyway our neighbor came and helped and having a middleman was like bing bang boom so anyway it was it wasn't bad at all so we're finished up for today and um tomorrow is the fourth of July so hence the red white and blue theme today tomorrow's the fourth of July um mom is actually giving me the day off um, I didn't really ask for it, but like, I guess we're just not going to do a whole lot. She's just going to make a couple products and chill. And Eric and I are going to address the fridge tonight and then see if we need to go 4th of July appliance shopping tomorrow. So other than that though, like our friends did invite us to go kayaking and they're camping at a campground. So maybe we'll go like barbecue and stuff and that would be fun. So whatever you guys have planned for the 4th of July, I hope you have so much fun. Have a safe and happy holiday. And I will pick the camera back up either when I get back to the farm or if something there's something I want to tell you guys, maybe a new fridge. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you guys really soon for the next video. Thank you for watching. If you're brand new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys really soon for the next one.